again, my fellow musicians, aspiring musicians, fellow guitarists, aspiring guitarists. Again, my name is Lance Oscar Carr from Victoria, BC, Canada. I want to share with you the backing track to go with this Lava Guitar game uh, that I've founded and trademarked here. Um, I'm sharing this for educational purposes and watch out for the um, full course and all the all the different content you can get to cover all the strings, all the notes. Um, so this first one is going to be based on the E minor chord. We can think of pretty much any key, but thinking from the minor, it's much easier to approach all these cool scale or sounded in, uh, variations. So the first chord I'm going to play is this E minor chord, and it has three letters in it, blue letters. They would be E's, G's, or B's. So you can find those letters on your fretboard on that small string, but you can also find it in this chord that I'm going to play. I'm not going to show you right now, but that'll be in future material, but just understand that those are the letters I'm playing when I strum this chord, and that's why you match really well if you're going to noodle or improvise and play the EGB letters in blue. So here we go. We're going to do our first jam, and you're playing what's called the EG blue, EGB blue, like totally in smooth sounds, just like this. I'm going to count to four, and you just join and jam. One, two, three, four. So I'm playing an E minor chord. To a 60 beat a minute metronome. So whatever you play in blue, you should sound pretty in. There shouldn't be any tension. It's pretty smooth. Also doesn't make it super exciting, but that's okay. Now we know our in color, the blues. So you play E, G, and we're gonna e. add in the green note, fifth fret A. So E notes, G notes, and G notes. Time you hear someone in your band playing the E minor chord. We could call that the E minor triad, the E minor arpeggio. They're just, to me, they're blue notes that are in the chord in E minor. That's all you really need to know. Let's try it one more time. So you play the E, G, and blue, no blue notes any way you want. You can mix them and match them, but try not to play any other notes because those are going to be considered lava, fiery notes. Actually, this avoid. time. Let's add in the green right, one. Here we go. One, five, A, two, and the ready, D. Go. So E is open. G is fret three. A is green. B is fret seven, blue. Fret ten, that's the D. Fret twelve, that's the E. You just played a pentatonic minor scale. I'm sure you guitarists know that one. Super cool. It's inside these colors. The blue is in. The green is a little less in. It's a little bit tense. It's a cool one. You might like it. But I usually want to relieve the tension. If I want to, I'll go to a blue. It kind of feels like the tension goes away. It feels more calm and smooth. doesn't sound finished. If I want to have that finished, resolved in sound, I'll go to a blue. Any blue. The green is cool for a pentatonic minor. Just know that it's a little less in. I'm going to end on a blue. We just played the E pentatonic minor scale. Super cool. Blues and the single green fret five.